sick of it all. Hey, Dandelion. Bro, I saw your, uh, your friend, dude. I saw Shawnee. I hope he says something. Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. I wish See I could tell him. Lion. Dandelion, you would have loved the wedding. You would have loved that wedding, dude. I should have took Dandelion. That would have been funny as hell. <laughs> What's this? Four babies. This is four babies. Yeah, I'm gonna sell all this crap. Greetings, I bear. Um, like you to craft something for me. No, I'm gonna sell. What do you have on offer? I selling some swords. Um, how much you got? Oh, bro, you're broke. This fool. Dude, he's got nothing. <laughs> Man. Well, could you Listen. at least fix my armor if I need it? Let me see. Repair? Yeah, this... Yeah, just repair this. Whatever's. And then I'll get the money back. <laughs> uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna make this money all back, watch. <laughs> the most expensive. Okay, good, I could sell a few things. Damn, that's it. Can you, can I sell this? No. Okay, I'm good, thank you, bye. So long. Ah! Sorry. Yeah. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. I just punched that lady. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was an accident. I was trying to jump. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way, lady. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta be careful. <laughs> Imagine if that had been a. J You're that one girl. Oh, prefer not to be badgered just now. All right, why? Fine. Oh, Geard's in here. I better save. Herring. Crown a piece. <gasps> My valor stands on three pillars. Good food, good drink. Letter to Olgird. You know what? I'm gonna read it. Hold on. I wonder if I could read the other letter that uh, Vladimir wrote. Do I have it? Oh, I could actually wear this. Can I wear it? Select slot. <laughs> I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Don't wonder if he says anything. What happened to the innkeeper? It's hilarious. What are they doing? Play. Overgrown wanes, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? Yeah, I do, actually. I have five None. of them. Oh, yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. <gasps> Let's play Gwent? Dude, if I don't play now, I probably won't get another chance. <sighs> Interesting the company you keep. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interested? How so? Common carouses and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few found me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. 
And ever since I began traveling with him, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. I like his voice, though. I do like his voice. But Vladimir was cooler. He was nicer. Interesting, the company you keep. Nice saber. First time I've seen a saber like nice that. Nice lightsaber. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. A gift. If I reach for it, heads will roll. The mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaver's eager to face Olgier von Everek, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Maybe it's not the sword, Geralt. Maybe it's him. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, as common as the club. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. How Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. Why though? A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. Why don't you just tell me what you are, bro? Huh? Should I play Gwent? I'm gonna play Gwent. Screw it, because then I'm not going to get the chance. I, that happened to me with the with the Baron. He just disappeared, and I couldn't play with him anymore. So let's play Gwent. Am I going to lose? Probably. Bad. <laughs> hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Come on, bro. Who's there? Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind up I've ever heard. Play out your cards. Oh my god, he's gonna murder me. <laughs> I got a cow. That is hilarious. <laughs> what does the cow do? Nothing? I think I'm just gonna keep it like that. Zoltan. Let's use a spy. So wait. Ooh. Passed already. Okay. All right. What does full test do? Pick a... Fog. What's fog? Which is the one that, that... That affects the front line. It's not fog. Fog is, I think, um... The middle? The front one is ice. So, should I just pass? I feel like I should save... My characters. I could win, but I'd have to use quite a few cards. I'm gonna lose. Because I've got some big cards, and then I've got the horns. Ah, shoot, now I have to beat him twice. <laughs> Wait. 
What you get in that, bro? I got this, dude. Let's lay down. Let's do this first to see what he does. I think I'm going to use Scourge now. Okay. Oh no. Oh, freaking A. Alright, they're small. They're, they're kind of small. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't use fog on them either. <sighs> this bro. Clear weather. I got this. I got this. Oh, bro. This dude. This is one of the reasons why I want... He's running out of cards. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I want the monster. The monster faction. Because of all those stupid cards. <laughs> if I win... I don't think I'm going to win. Oh no. Oh freaking A. Fog. Is it going to affect it? I don't know. Just do it. I have got nothing to lose. It wasn't affected. <sighs> and these brothers aren't even affected. Look at this dude. He passed already. He's so sure of himself. <gasps> Damn it. Freaking A. Man. It's so hard to beat him. <sighs> if you fulfill wishes as well as your plague went, I venture I've naught to fear. We'll have to play again. As in right now. So, care for a round of- Go. What? What? Should I pass? I'm gonna pass. Alright. I just need to beat him one more time, dude. I got this. Yes! Now. This isn't gonna kill any of his dudes. Cause he's got legend uh hero cards. <laughs> Discard after kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. 
It won't it won't destroy hero cards though, I think. Will it? Just do it. Yeah, see it doesn't. <laughs> Freaking A. Alright, that's it. Um, you and Ophir are curious about the king there. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophir you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. <gasps> oh my god. Ophiri was a dauphin on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Ophiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he'd turn into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. <laughs> Alright. Vladimir sends his greetings. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish, and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Why'd you get, make me do this if you didn't think it was ho it was possible? Just Fulfilled your wish. Sending me on a wild goose chase. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand. It's unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Borsodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. Jerk. <laughs> oh, there you are. I thought they kicked you out, bro. Time to order a bulldozer and bring the house over here and drop it on the top of the roof. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Fraternizing? A uh, Redanian soldier is guarding an auction house? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say <laughs> something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high rankings sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. We'll have to talk to the owners. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. I've got one. I'm sure we can work something out. You'd be smart to make an exception. Didn't Master Mirror give me one? I'm sure we can work something out. Oh, I should have put delusion back on. Freaking A. I'm sure we can work something out. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. Afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner! <laughs> Need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vivaldi. Vivaldi, the banker from... 
Actually, where are you from? <laughs> Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. Bye. <laughs> but my orders... Fuck your orders. <laughs> Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha, I thought not. No, stand to attention <laughs> and shut your giggy. <laughs> Kiki. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sort it. Now march. Round you go. One, two, one, two. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Appreciate the help. Twas night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Uh, any idea what might be up for bid? Hmm, didn't. The Borzotis? Have their auction house in Novigrad? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. There was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neum and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. <laughs> Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Didn't I? Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Can I jack some stuff? Egg? White gold and mother of pearl with topaz Hello. insects. Oh, what's this? Sold to Madame Villepin. Oh, that's Dress a big skull. Hmm. A giant's. Or maybe a Jotun's. At a starting price of 2,000 crowns. Goblet of fire. Wonder what it is. A gauntlet of fire. What's this? Zeracanian spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Codex Redaniensis, sole surviving copy. <clears throat> From the collection of the Mage Aramis. What is that? Hmm. What's this? Beautiful, but first blow Fashay would shatter them. Egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz insects. I can't tell what it is. Oh, to they're uh. <laughs> Yennefer would love this. <laughs> this one probably also belonged to sorceress. Fetish, maybe. <laughs> this one probably also belonged to sorceress. Fetish, maybe. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. I think so. Seems like it. Get out! You thought of buying realist Lovely Hold sculpture. On. Probably end up adorning somebody's garden. Hold on, Vivaldi. It's locked. Abage egg, white gold, okay. and mother of You were saying topaz insects um. sold to Madame Vivaldi. What were you saying, Dress Vivaldi? Of Sorry. Silk with... Hmm. Auction. Oh, 
auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, <laughs> drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corner's Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, smell oh. it, Geralt. That's the center coin. Hello? 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 It's me, Vivaldi. All right, let's talk to some peoples. Uh, Yaromir. Yaromir. Might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm-hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about painting? No, but I know all about my freaking bomb ears. Do you like them or not? Because if you don't, I'm going to have to bust some guts. All right. Um, not a bit. A bit. And don't care much to learn. <laughs> Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, and my ears. I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. This girl's like, <laughs> shh. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yeah, yeah, everyone knows that. You cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. So do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. <laughs> Dude, everybody knows this. <laughs> Indicate the pastoral. Pastoral? Indicate the view of Novigrad. I think it's the one that Vivaldi's looking at. Indicate the portrait of the merchant. I've seen that merchant before. Indicate the still life. Indicate the battle scene. Uh, indicate the pastoral. Which one's the still life? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Screw it. I'm just going to say indicate the pastoral. Is that the one? I think it's the one that... Vivaldi's looking at. Mm, the pastoral scene, I think. Incorrect. <sighs> but I suppose Vivaldi. you expected your guest to look homewards to the country. Bro. You. you were supposed to help me, bro. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. I'm talking about you. <laughs> I've grown accustomed. <laughs> Oh. Funny. Can we try that again? Would, did, would he give me something if I got that right? Not now, Witcher. Freaking a. I simply don't understand their art. Optional: meet Vivaldi's friends. Sit down. How do you freaking know? A vessel leaving port. Oh, it says right there. Oh. The battle... That's not it. Is it the merchant? Vandernoob. <laughs> Such a noob. That would look splendid in the 
Devar var 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 vars. No. I think it's the merchant. Wasum bum bum bum. I think it's the merchant at the Devander noob, right? That's what he said. I'm gonna restart. I wanna know what you get. Is that cheating? That's not freaking cheating. I just wanna see if I get anything awesome, you know, like another pair of awesome ears. <laughs> I have been learned. Obviously, it's the merchant. Indicate the portrait of the merchant. <sighs> really? Merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? By Vivaldi, nobody needs Forgive you. Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you were an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. <laughs> I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roo is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friend's beckon. Was I supposed to so, remember that? <laughs> what did he tell you? I don't know. To buy the Vandero. Nothing special. Should I tell Vivaldi? Vivaldi's my friend. Should I tell Vivaldi? Oh no. I don't know if I should tell him. Is he gonna swindle me? Um... <laughs> he said that... Uh... Oh shoot, I'm gonna say nothing special. Uh, nothing special. Truly? Huh. Shame that. All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my head in. Funny. Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy. Had that ring on his finger. Shite, is it fat? <laughs> Dude, I feel bad now because Vivaldi's helping me. <laughs> Shoot. Whatever. 